Today I'm giving you a dose of my fall makeup routine. We're phasing out of summer, going into fall, and I wanna show you all of my favorite products that I'll be using throughout this fall to give me my natural everyday face. My skincare is already done. My face is moisturized and prepped. Now we're gonna get into SPF. My favorite SPF to wear under my makeup is the Unstained Sunscreen by Supergoop. And this is a great SPF to use between fall and summer if you're looking for some good transitioning products because it's oil-free. It has like a nice blurring effect, but your face doesn't dry out. It doesn't dry out your pores. It just makes everything look nice and smooth, but you're also getting protection. Getting started with eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 380. For eyeshadow, we are gonna be using the Jackie Ina palette. My thing today, we're gonna be using Credit and Ginger. Okay, I'm gonna go in with ginger into the crease. And I'm just going to start by packing it in. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go into the inner corner, I'm gonna stick to mostly the outer corner, the crease. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other lid. I'm gonna start off in the crease and just pack in that color and then bring it down into the lid as well and blend out. And remember, I'm leaving that inner corner space open, just leaving the concealer there. Now I'm gonna go in with credit, but I'm gonna keep that towards the outer edge of the eye and the crease. See how that brown just added just a little bit more depth to the eyeshadow so you can see it coming together like a little bit of an ombre effect. All right, the eyes are looking nice and neutral and natural. Now I'm gonna use a blending brush just to bring it all together. Moving off to complexion, for primer I'm gonna be using the Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin Universal Primer. And I really like using this because it has the obsolete technology in there, which I don't know how, but it blocks the sweat, locks in the sweat, locks in the oils, and just leaves your face super matte. So I really like using this. I've tested this under other foundations, and I know for the fall, I really will like it because it's not only a balm, but it dries down to a powder, so it doesn't make your skin feel uncomfortable or anything. I think this is really good for T-zone area, so if you have a really oily T-zone and you like matte foundations or serum foundations and you don't want it to be or like glowy and you don't want it to be extra oily, I would definitely try using this as a primer. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna be using the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I like to apply this and then let it sit on my face just for a little bit before I go in with my blood, before I go in with my brush to get it so it gets like a maximum um, coverage. And because it's so serum-y, you don't need to spray your brush, you don't need to spray your face. Just let it sit on the face for a second before you go in to blend it. And I'm just looking for my brush right now. I like to start towards the bottom and just work my way up, work around the edges, just giving more dry time to the other areas of my face. I really like it to dry around my mouth because I have some hyperpigmentation there. And I don't, um, color correct very much or at all really so that's why I like to let it sit there now for the most popular bronzer we're going to use the LYS Beauty bronzing and contouring stick in the shade strength just rub it on the back of my hand and then blend it out I like to go down just a little bit but I also keep it up and keep it going towards the temples 
Okay, it's a nice light little bronze. Tap it into my brush a little bit. Super cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love that, love that. And it's just, I'm just using just very light tapping motions with just a little bit of bronzer up there because, you know, the sun's starting to go away. But we want to still look a little bronzy, but not too much. Our tan's fading. <laughs> now just to blend out the bottom of that bronzer, just so it blends, I'm using my foundation brush. Just so we can take away any harsh lines. I'm gonna go in with a higher standard blush in the shade Passion from LAS Beauty. This is my go-to favorite blush that I use from them. If it's not another shade that I dubbed my summer shade, it's usually this one. Even before starting the video, I had another shade picked out that I was like, oh, you know, I never used this one. I'll use it, girl. I opened my drawer and picked this one right on up because I was like, who, who, why am I gonna play myself? Why play myself? I'm just gonna place that on the cheeks right there. And I'm not gonna blend it out too much because we're still gonna put on our concealer. I just like to place my blush down before putting on my concealer because it's just something that I started doing. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Full Coverage Brightening Concealer from LYS Beauty. I really like using this concealer because it has this liquid to powder finish. Even if I didn't set it, I wouldn't be worried about it because it has this really nice powdery finish. But I really don't think that people know that or I don't know if people like experience that or maybe it's just me. But this powder does, this concealer does something, okay? She does something. And why I'm also putting this on last is because this dries down pretty quick. You really don't need to let this sit too long, okay? Sit too long, you might look crazy. And also one thing about concealer, I try not to blend it out too much because I still want it to show. It's still giving me that highlight that I want, you know what I mean? The only place I will let this kind of sit real for a minute is above my above my um, my upper lip. Well, I'm gonna start here at the bottom and just blend that out. I'll work my way up. All right, now I can go over the upper lip a little bit, not too much. Blend out that forehead. We're gonna get some more blush and we're just going to marry that in with the bottom edges of that concealer, just so it looks very blended together. Smile, put on the apples of the cheeks. I don't like to take it up too much. Really just like to keep it right there. To set my T-zone, we're gonna use the Triple Fix Setting Powder in the shade Independent. Pick a product on my brush and I just lightly tap it in. I've always been a fan of doing it this way and not really using a powder puff because I feel like the powder puffs are just a bit too harsh just a bit too harsh to use under the eye because they really do pick up a lot of product and to set your and to set everything I feel like you really need to be gentle and not pack on the powder. To set the rest of my face we're going to use the Pro Filter Setting Powder by Fenty Beauty in the shade Nutmeg. Now take your brush and pack it into the powder. We're going to pack the powder into the brush and we're going to pack that all over the face, okay? When people ask me like, wow, your face looks so airbrush soft, this is why, okay? This is why. And like, you just see how everything just looks so brought together. Now everything looks clean, blended together, and it just looks like a little masterpiece. We're still glowy from our foundation, but we're also matte because we're a matte girly. Now to set our face, we're gonna use Kimchi Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. <laughs> now.
Now the key, we're gonna let this dry down. We're not gonna press it in, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna let this dry down. Before we put on lashes, we're gonna use the new mascara from LYS Beauty called Lash Confidence. Oh wow, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of product shows up on the brush. A lot of product comes out. So we are not gonna use a lot, just a little bit, just to lift up the lashes a little bit, just to add some color. Now this formula, now the brush is really good. I really like the brush on this mascara. It's just that a lot of product comes out on the brush. I just messed up, oh my gosh. A lot of product comes out on the brush, so um, you just gotta be careful with it transferring onto the lid. So I already have glue on my lashes. They're drying right now. I'm not gonna do the bottom of my lashes until I'm done with this whole look because the mascara is a little wet and I don't wanna mess anything up. So let me throw on these lashes and I'll be right back. Lashes are on, now we're gonna line our lips. This is the NYX Lip Crayon in the shade Espresso. We're gonna keep it real cute and use Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Choco Lit. So cute, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Okay, let me give you a final look at the finished face. Thank you so much for getting a dose of fall makeup with me. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment them down below in the box. Also subscribe so you can learn, grow, and glow with me. See you on the next dose of makeup.